last session we discuss what is the means finance and as well as we discuss uh, finance means you can divide the finance into the two thing like uh, money and the capital it, that is the general thing okay so money means uh, uh, if you spend um, uh, the finance for the for the just consumption purpose then it's considered as money and if you spend for the some investment pur uh, purpose then it is considered as a capital okay so before going to all these thing i just try to give you some idea okay so just wait one minute huh? so uh, first means what is the finance finance we know that uh, it is nothing but you can say in the simple form let's wait okay finance means you can say just simple form that is the money management right or you can say the capital management right so money management and the cap capital management is nothing but the finance now what is the finance management means how to get it how to get it that particular money and uh, how to spend it and how to managing it that is nothing but the financial management okay so how to get it and uh, I quickly write then how to spend it and uh, just i gave you some basics and the formal thing we will start in the next session but this all the thing actually you need to understand okay next is the managing it or how to managing it okay so that is the thing means what is the finance means money management very simple and what what you need to do in the financial management how to get it that money how to get it that capital how to spend it and how to managing it so that is nothing but the financial management so again there is the one misconcept uh, regarding to the means maybe you have confusion regarding to the account and uh, what is the means purpose of then account that is also deal with the money right and uh, what you understand with the economics that is also deal with the money okay and uh, what you understand with the finance so anyone who can say uh, who able to answer what is the meaning of the accounting anyone anyone keeping record okay very good very good so it is just means uh, ma maintaining the record of the transition of uh, money and capital okay of the transition of money and capital so yeah, it is just recording i just write here it is just recording very good and when i talk about the economics it means economics actually focus on the real resources okay when you work i means as a economist then you will be focus on the real resources real resources means available machines available some infrastructure regarding to that if you concern then that is come into the economics part okay as well as you are able to deal with the means understand the policy uh, government policy and all thing what is the supply demand that all the thing will be come into the economics part and when i talk about the uh, finance means here here you deal with the production and the and the money okay so here you deal with the deal with the production and that related money and capital also you can use okay i interchangeably actually use the money and the capital so don't get this so uh, anyone who can tell me uh, actually who is handle this finance related thing in the industry is there any post in the industry to handle the finance related thing any head there is the cfo okay so chief financial officer and he is the responsible for the financial management and what is the financial management means how to get it money how to spend it and how to managing it okay so that is the that is the means uh, you can say the responses of the means uh, responsibility of the uh, chief finance officer okay so that is the all thing i just try to give you the some basic then we will go for the all the thing okay which is mentioned in the subject next one if uh, okay so when i talk about the okay when i talk about the financial financial decision
okay so when i talk about the financial decision then what you people understand about the financial decision it is about money right so uh, it is like that a particular thing i buy or not buy that is means even you can apply in the personal life even you can apply in your personal life as well as you can apply in the organization but their approach is different right so i buy the particular thing or not buy that decision is the financial decision uh, means next you need to calculate what is the required benefit or uh, how much benefit i will get by that particular thing if i buy and what will be the cost so you need to uh, means uh, uh, identify the trade off between the cost and the required uh, means the benefit by that particular thing by that by that particular product okay and the next uh, the please keep in mind as every person is no benefit should be higher compared to the invested cost okay so that is the related to financial decision so again if i divide the uh, finance just i try to give you the simple thing first one is the general point that is the come is the financial management and the finance and uh, they are actually you managing the finance or you managing the uh, money for the business okay so that is the ifm the next point when i talk that is related to uh, financial economy okay next is the financial economy Okay. So when I talk about the financial economy, then again, who actually maintain all these things? So there is the two point. One, everyone is know that is the financial market means share market, and uh, actually, okay. The next is the means you can say the financial institute, bank, and all. financial institute okay and again if i i want to divide this thing then the third point you can write the investment okay so in investment what are the thing will become that uh, first is the you need to means that particular if investment related thing if you are doing then and the anyone is doing then they will first do the security analysis means security analysis uh, for a particular share for a particular uh, assets and like that that is nothing but the uh, finance investment related thing okay so that is also part of the fm but uh, here i just try to give you the overall uh, view about the financial management okay am i audible class properly yes sir audible okay okay thank you and the next point okay security analysis as well as the portfolio management okay so portfolio means if you uh, if you want to uh, invest in the share market then how to manage the portfolio and all thing okay uh, that that is also come into the investment uh, related means finance investment the next is the market analysis means what is the market uh, condition and all thing on the basis of the uh, balance sheet of the of the each company so market analysis and one more point is the behavior finance that is the different thing okay so just wait behavior and finance okay behavior finance okay so uh, okay so that is related to investment okay so when when uh, what is the behavior finance means uh, many thing uh, in the market in the means the financial market it is depend on the behavior of the of the investor okay they may be behave like okay when i talk about the some advanced technology like the artificial intelligence so many people will be find out okay artificial intelligence have a future in the company who com means what are the com means uh, the list of the company who working on that particular area that will be do that will be do great so they invest on that particular area okay so that is actually behavior type of the thing even they are not aware about the profit of the organization they not aware about the uh, capital and all the assets about the uh, that particular company but the behavior due to the sentiments they just invest in that particular company 
that type of the thing e even you also realize when you see the uh, the stock market okay so uh, that is the behavior related thing and how to do the market analysis so there you will take a particular company if you want to investment i'm just talking about the investment the company there you can check the technical thing you can check the profit you can check the all the thing and on the basis of that you, if you take the decision that is the market analysis and just on the basis of the news on the basis of the some uh, company means announce some big thing then you invest that is the different thing so uh, i just want to okay just want to share the real thing just wait actual thing okay so i hope you aware about that all this thing but uh, just wait i will give you the idea Okay. Uh, can you can you name any company, please? Any student, please name any company. Tata. Tata. Motor. Okay. Steel. Okay. I just click on the Tata Motor. So you can see here. Uh, this is the uh, company. So here you can see what is the actually that is the market analysis means you need to check. Okay. What is the thing is actually going on with respect to the time. So this is the actual thing. Means here you can see in the 2017 the means the share price is 523. After that that reduce. Why reduce? Because maybe you need to properly analyze that particular company. Okay, why it is reduced? Because of the less uh, means unable to uh, uh, improve the wealth of the shareholder. Why? Because of the less uh, sale of that particular vehicle and all thing. Many many factor actually depend. Okay, so here you can see the price is 523. After that. in in the pandemic that is the external factor okay that time economy is down so so that time you can say the price is 119 only per share and after that again the price is increase so again when i talk about the risk risk means unavoidable thing so risk uh, is okay this is the risk for the company okay due to the due to the pandemic they their price of the share is approx 70 rupees here you can see 27 march only 27 70 rupees okay so now uh, actual price of today is the 509 so who invested on this time many people will found that particular time ke okay that is the opportunity so they invested and now their per, per share price is 509 so it's a risk okay but it is a risk now in this particular on uh, if i talk about the 27 march the risk for the actually uh, for that particular industry but now the wealth of the means that particular or uh, shareholder is increase approx 6 uh, to 7 times so I, their analysis you will be found company is ex uh, expected to give good quarter and these are the some uh, drawback also there this is the actually you can see the other competitor of the company this is the actual sale you need to this is the market analysis of that particular company you can see what is the sale expenses operating profit and all thing okay this is the profit and loss account that we will read okay we will uh, go through what is the profit and loss and all thing but i just want to uh, try to give you the some idea this is the balance sheet of that particular company okay so their share capital the reserve all the thing investment total assets of that particular company with respect to the time that is the given the cash flow is given as well as the ratio is given so there it is not like that ki all the share prices increase on the basis of the uh, just market analysis their behavior type of the thing also you will be found like i take dot uh, uh, e l x y just wait okay so this is the one company actually they working on the artificial intelligence so due to the just behavior means the behavior type of the thing the price is increased like anything there is no uh, means profit is like that ki the share price should be like that okay so here you can see the share price is the 1000 earlier in 2886 now the share price is 6256 and even sometime before the price is uh 
like uh, okay so 6000 is the maximum price so like that means there there means you can see there is the profit and all thing is not like that if i go to the profit and loss so it is not very high but on the basis of the behavior the many investors see ke, okay uh, this particular company is working on the ai so it will do the good thing so that is the behavior finance okay so i just try to give you the some idea okay what is the behavior finance okay so this is about the investment and the next point again if i want to divide then you will be found the something that is the personal uh, finance as well as the public finance means public finance means the government manage all the thing means how much amount of this inflation and all thing need to apply that all are come into the public finance and one more thing i just want to add that is the risk calculation so what you people understand with the risk in the in the finance anyone who can give the answer anyone if the company goes in the bankruptcy okay that is the risk for the that particular company okay so the, uh, the thing means i no, just sir, means if we are investing okay if we are investing yes. in that company ha ah, yes yes understood understood so it is our also loss na no? Yes, yes, understood, understood. So it is the loss of the shareholder. Like D H F L. Yes, understood, understood. So that is the risk for the shareholder as well as that uh, company. Okay. So I just uh, try to say in a simple manner, then the probability uh, of unavoidable outcomes. That is nothing but the risk. If you do the analysis and if you found uh, some unavoidable, okay. unavoidable uh, outcomes that's why that company means bankrupt okay so that is nothing but the risk as per the my opinion so i just try to give here what is the finance and all thing that is even not given in this uh, this uh, syllabus okay now i go for the the start okay last time i think we discuss uh, the two company case study like uh, just wait uh, it's working slow okay so two company uh, actually we discuss means one anchor is invested into the fruit beer and they low uh, means bankrupt okay and after that they merge into the panasonic okay that is the different thing actually there lot of thing but the 30 50 crore in 90s uh, in 90s they invested in the gurgaon uh, for producing the fruit beer but that particular product is not successful so uh, the personal means the suggestion is like that you need to invest gradually okay don't invest sudden directly 350 crores and all so here the nirma example they uh, initially making a baking uh, by by make baking soda they uh, made the uh, this uh, detergent powder and after that uh, they distribute that powder to the near and dear and they found that uh, it is means actually the feedback is very good so the slowly slowly invested more in that particular company and uh, now it is a competitor even competitor for the hul hindustan in india so that is the thing so uh, okay now the main point i come to that main point ki okay the what is the legal form of the business organization actually here means we will study the finance uh, finance management for the for the organization right so first we need to understand the legal form of the business organization and i hope you people aware about that and first is the sole proprietorship the next one is the partnership and third one is the is the you can say the corporations okay so uh, what what is the sole proprietorship means uh, even if i want to start uh, any uh, company so if uh, i just want to honor for the, those particular company so i can easily register uh, for the sole proprietorship it it uh, means charge approx 2000 3000 you can register for that particular thing okay so that is the initial stage and the small stage and their owner is only one okay so uh, the status when i talk about the sole proprietorship there is the no legal status okay but when owner owner is only one in that particular thing one is the owner one person will be owner and when i talk about the liabilities liabilities means you can say uh, everyone i think know about the liabilities right the state of being uh, legally responsible for something okay so you are the only responsible for what occur in your that particular 
organization business organization so liability of owner is unlimited means that particular person need to take all the liability of that particular organization the ownership of the properties owned by the sole proprietor the 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 ownership of the property which actually in that particular business organization that is owned by the sole proprietor what is the management when i talk about the in terms of the management the management by the sole proprietor uh, actually because he is the owner so he manage the everything okay so the termination means if i uh, when this particular sole proprietorship will be terminate so occur on the owner death and by the owner choice if owner want to close that particular sole proprietor business organization he can close and when the owner uh, death that time that particular sole proprietorship organization will be closed okay so that is the one means if i want to start up a uh, means if i want uh, to start a comp means a business organization alone then you need to go for the sole proprietorship okay so is there any doubt what is the sole proprietor class can you please confirm no sir okay thank you so the, what is the advantage and the disadvantage of the sole proprietorship okay so when i talk about the sole proprietorship here means easy to form and the dissolve means you can easily start this business organization and easily you can close close this particular organization right as mentioned in the point 1 the next is the low organizational cost the cost is very low okay the next thing is the minimum regulation and more uh, secrecy okay so here the regulation rule and that all the thing are minimum because you are, means one person alone is the owner of that particular sole proprietor so regulation will be very less and uh, the secure uh, means secrecy is 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 very high okay why because here one is alone know about that particular sole proprietorship what is the profit what is the sale and all thing that only one person is know so that's why the more sec uh, means uh, uh, you can say the secure as compared to the other other uh, we will discuss in the coming slide okay other business organization the next is the maintain complete and unlimited uh, unlimited control okay so here you can maintain complete and unlimited control the proper uh, proprietor is entitled to all profit so what what profit you get by this sole proprietor if you are the owner of this sole proprietor business organization you alone take all the profit means you alone entitled to all the profits okay so that is the advantage what is the disadvantage unlimited liabilities okay so all the responsibility of that particular organization you need to take the next limited fund raising means you means one person is uh, is the owner of that particular sole proprietorship right so limited amount of the fund raising he means unable to do the high level of the fund raising and all thing okay the next proprietorship must know everything about the run about to run the business okay he know about the uh, what are the taxes i need to pay and all thing how to manage the existing business how to improve the productivity of the organization how to manage the operation how to manage the finance and all thing he should know okay the firm is terminated when proprietor is die so that is the one disadvantage you can say because once the uh, that owner is die the that particular firm is terminated okay means close so that is the thing about the sole proprietorship okay and uh, many company means you can see now that is the public company and very high uh, budget uh, type of the company they started as a sole proprietorship initially okay then they gradually shifted to partnership and uh, that all thing means uh, private limited for public limited so the partnership means here you can see uh, there means first is the sole proprietor the next business organization type is the partnership as i told you ki when uh, in the last lecture i told you when you want to start uh, any business okay that time you need to invest something to start a business okay so you need to invest something suppose 10 lakh rupees is the required then you have only 1 lakh then you need to take the remaining amount from the venture capital 
but venture capital will charge you 30% 40% rate of interest so what you will be do you will ask your near and dear okay, okay are you ready to invest in my particular company you can share the business model and all thing if they ready then you can go for the instead of sole proprietor you can go for the partnership because there is the some advantage of this particular thing okay so when i talk about the partnership so there is the legal no legal status still but the owner of this partnership uh, business organization is minimum 2 required and the maximum 20 that is the limit so when i talk about the liabilities uh, of this particular partnership organization firm unlimited liability again if 2 and 3 person are the are the owner of uh, owner of that particular partnership uh, business firm then they need to take all the responsibility okay of related to that partnership organization and they are legally responsible okay even anything is wrong done then they are legally responsible they penalize for that by any partner okay related to that organization the next point ownership of property jointly owned by all the partner it, it is actually owned by the all the partners who part means actually partner who did the partnership for this organization and the management every partner is entitled to participate means every partner means need to participate in this particular thing when you when the termination will when any one of the partner die or bankrupt or become incense means anyone don't want to run and uh, join uh, means continue your partnership then this particular partnership uh, uh, business organization will be terminated okay so now what is the advantage disadvantage of this partnership organization uh, business organization the first one easy to is easy of formation and dissolve means easily you can make and easily you can dissolve the next because of the more partner now rise more fund as we compare with the sole proprietorship the limited partnership permit some of the partner uh, means limited partnership permit some of the partner the privilege limited liabilities okay so that is the thing when i talk about the disadvantage unlimited liabilities you need to take all the responsibility related to that particular organization as a partner each partner is the liable for the action of other partner if any other your partner uh, means cheated with the customer cheated with uh, the customer and do the illegal thing then all partner are means responsible for that particular thing please keep in mind the next the difficulty of partnership is transfer uh, means transferability okay so actually you cannot transfer easily this partnership one form to another form that is uh, means actually difficult and terminate upon a partner death that is the whole thing so that is about the partnership business organization now the next one is the corporation okay so when i talk about the corporation the it is a separate legal entity it is a separate legal entity it is not joined by any human being okay please keep in mind so the owner of this particular organization this particular organization minimum two if i talk about the private limited okay so please keep in mind in corporation there is the two type private limited and public limited or public company okay so when i talk about the private limited their minimum number of the two people should be there and the maximum 50 when i talk about the public their minimum number is two and maximum there is no maximum limit okay when i talk about the liability of the owner limited to the amount of share subscribed by the shareholder that's it okay so if your company not uh, able to perform well and bankrupt then only your share subscribe that only you means that only your loss okay the remaining thing you means you uh, did not uh, do means pay that particular thing the next is the ownership of the property owned by the company that is the owned by company okay that particular ownership the management managed by the board of the director 
means board of the director are there they will manage and the director may and may not be shareholder of that particular company so please keep in mind and the next point is the termination by undergoing the legal process legal winding up even the owner will die then on, then also this company is private limited public limited will work okay you need to do some legal process then only you can close that particular company so that is the all the thing okay and here the liability is less compared to the sole proprietorship and the partnership type of the organization so that is the all the thing about the corporation type of the uh, business organization so uh, is there any doubt okay i go for the next advantage disadvantage so here the uh, as i told you in the in the corporation means private limited public limited uh, organization their limited liabilities is to rising capital because uh, you can easily rise the capital why because you can even go to the market also even you can uh, means there are lot of um, uh, people are uh, owner of that particular organization so that's why the rising the fund rising the capital is very easy continuity of the business regardless of any owner withdrawal or death okay so any uh, owner death withdrawal uh, that particular business will be continue that will be not uh, shut down the next is easy of the ownership transferability easily you can transfer the ownership and it is managed by the professionals okay so what is the disadvantage complicated to form it is not uh, you can easily make may need professional assistant okay high organizational cost and the more regulation and the legal uh, miss uh, i'm sorry leg of secrecy okay so here you cannot take make all the secret related to business related to your balance sheet related to cost loss and the profit and all so that actually you, you uh, need to share with all the shareholder with the, your uh, means shareholder okay or your stakeholder like that so uh, that is about the all about the different different business organization now uh, again when i talk about the type of partnership there is the again some uh, different different type of the partnership are there all partner have entitled with the uh, uh, liabilities that is the general partnership as we discuss the limited liabilities uh, uh okay type of partnership their limited liabilities consist of the one and more general partner who have unlimited liabilities okay so there are the uh, different thing two th general partnership and limited liability company so that is actually that is the one more thing uh, what is the limited liability company that uh, if you search you will be found that is the between the partnership and the corporation so owner have a limited liability but the firm run and tax like a partnership and it is also known some type uh, private limited company okay actually it is a between the the uh, okay so the private limited company is actually limited liabilities company okay so uh, please go through you will be understand the uh, type of corporation then again i am uh, telling you the corporation a uh, business organization there is the two type public company and unlisted public company so when i talk about the public company public company means share are openly shared to the public they share means their means uh, share they share their share openly on the stock market you can buy and you can trade also the share are traded on the stock market if your company if that particular organization is the public company and also known as a public listed company or many time you will be found in the end uh, in corporation okay so that uh, in corporation is written there in the end then it is a public company right the next unlisted public company so in unlisted company there are some company are unlisted but that is a public company in that condition means unlisted means that is not listed in this share market so anyone means not anyone can buy that particular share the share are sold to the selected group of invested okay and the share are not traded on the stock exchange that is the thing so two type of the corporation 
first is the public company and the second one is unlisted public company so when i talk about the public they can share their means uh, sh- they can share sell their share amount means share in the uh, stock market and also uh, means you can say they can easily raise the ample amount of the fund on on the, by taking those fund they can invest they can grow and they again generate more profit and again they invest and generate more profit like that that particular public companies work but some public company like uh, if i talk about the drdo type of the thing and the some organization that is not listed in the stock market but that is also actually public company in india okay so now okay so for that uh, today i think that is more than enough uh, we will take a small small part only so you can easily digest okay so i close the